like this here, and I don't know how to get out of here. Oh my god, oh my god, this is a road? these teddy bear choya. I think they're called teddy bear choya. They're choya cactuses. Here's one right here. Right there is, I believe it's called a choya or possibly a teddy bear choya. And those are cactuses that you never want to touch. You don't want to touch that cactus. The little splinters get into the fingers and they're very painful and they're very hard to remove. And so if you you know, you don't really, I don't think you want to touch cactuses in general, but that one is definitely one to be avoided. So, I just thought I'd make a note of that. And on we go. There are tons and tons and tons of those teddy bear choya cactuses all over. So we finally found the cliff. What were you saying, Sal? <laughs> Sal's a little getting a little nervous. Okay, let's see how he is. Here's the cliff. Oh gosh. Oh. I didn't realize it was gonna be like this. <laughs> Here's the road in front of us. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. So it's a little crazy getting in here the last few miles. It said three miles are going to be like steep and... Oh my gosh. Ugh, that's pretty narrow there. With that nice cliff on the side. Don't remind me. <laughs> Why no did you look thing. down there? So. Oh! oh. <laughs> you really want me to look down there? Yeah, look down there. Oh my gosh. Narrow bridge. Uh oh. We got a narrow bridge coming. Seems to be a bridge of some sort coming up. Oh, we heard the last mile or three were pretty bad, so I guess we're getting close. There's the bridge. Oh. Well, at least we're not on a cliff now, so I guess I was taking a sigh of relief, although. Uh, About that bridge. <laughs> yeah, I don't need it. Yeah, it's pretty narrow. It's very narrow. Oh. oh, there's a cliff down there. I have to say that this has been like forever <laughs> to get here. I feel like we've spent a couple hours getting here. We had to drive home. Oh. Probably 10 miles to Parker and then down to Shea Road, maybe another three miles, so maybe about 12 miles to Shea Road, I'm guessing. Then we had to drive 13 miles down Shea Road and now 17 miles here, and it's kind of slow going, so it feels like it's been forever. I'm almost ready to go home, and we both. Let's see this first. been 
traveling here for, I don't know, it seems like over an hour, maybe two hours now, an hour and a half. How long did you say? Two hours. Two hours. So we spent about two hours trying to get here. And about ten minutes ago, I said to Sal, I said, you know, Sal, I've been thinking of something. You know what I'm thinking? And he said, yeah, I know what you're thinking. I was thinking the same thing earlier. Okay, Sal, tell him what we were thinking. I was thinking about the buffet. In Parker. I was thinking about the buffet in Parker. Oh, wow. I was thinking about the buffet in Parker, too. And it, and then Sal said something like, yeah, after this, after what we went through to get here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy is right. Oh, my gosh. Why did we come here? What was that? Why did we come here? Oh, my goodness. Oh, we got to climb up. Oh, oh my Lord. Boy. Sharon, how, how can we go up there any further? Oh, my Lord, Sharon. So, we, so I said, yep, after what we went through to get here, which we hadn't even gotten to this part yet, so I said, we should go, we, we both want to go have a buffet after this. So, that's what we're going to do, I think. Lord. What's that? I'm just praying. comes down the other way because if they do I don't know what to do at this point there's the ditch oh my gosh whoa look at that view oh my, oh my goodness Lord. whoa Wow! 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 Where is this ghost town? <laughs> Three more miles down the road. How many? Well, where's this visitor center? I don't know, Sharon. Are we even in the right place? Oh my god. I think we're fine. Wow. Sharon, I don't know. What's that? I said, I don't know about this, Sharon. It's worth yeah. it just to come for the view. We were wondering if it was worth it or not, but this view is worth it. Oh my goodness, wow. Oh what a gosh. view. What? Oh my gosh. I don't, I, don't, I don't know about this, Sharon. I don't know how to get out of here. Oh my God. Oh my God, this is a road? You gotta be kidding me. How are we gonna get out of here? A big rock on the right. Move oh. over to the left a little.
road is kind of crazy. Getting in here, this road is really something. Yeah, sure, this is crazy. I think we need to get there and leave as soon as we can so we get out of here before it gets dark. I don't want to go up this road in the dark. Yeah, that's a bad night. It wasn't too bad until you get to those three miles. Not too bad right now. No, it's not too bad here. I can deal with this, but not, not up there. That was scary up there. That makes everything up. That's, that's the scariest thing we've done up there. You think that was scarier than Borrego Springs? Yeah, because that's very, that was Borrego Springs, at least you had a road. A, a normal road. This is not a normal road. I'm surprised they even allow people to come here. There's a little visitor center here, kind of, with some bulletin boards. So let's see what we have here. And we have the pretty wildflowers in bloom. Look at that. Most of the public lands surrounding Swansea are designated as limited use areas for off-highway vehicles. And the Swansea townsite vehicles are limited to designated routes. Some remnants of, a, remnants of historic foot and pack trails and segments of the railroad lines in the town site are limited to foot traffic to protect their original character. Welcome to yesteryear. By the 1870s, Indians living and hunting in western Arizona had established a network of foot and pack trails by way of the Bill Williams River. I'll, I'll go up on this so you can pause and read it if you'd like. There's something, uh, the ATV or 40 inch wide vehicle of the past would have been a horse, mule, or burro. Burro trails are good for hiking as they are narrow, steep, and winding. Oh, looks like there's bats here. I love bats. Oh, it says register. Looks like there was a registration once upon a time, but not anymore. BLM Swansea Town Site. Please stay on designated roads and trails. Warning, danger, abandoned mines are deadly. Don't get trapped. Stay out, stay alive. Visiting the Copper Towning Mine of Swansea. You will learn about the area's history and experience its isolation. To protect you, special regulations apply. Five campsites are located in the historic town site, named after people or places important to Swansea's history. below and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching